This is Manila's new crown jewel. Wide and neat pedestrian streets, parks, museums, shopping, and shiny new office buildings all packed into a 2.4 square kilometer space, Bonifacio Global City. Soon, even the Philippine Stock Exchange will set up shop here. The original people who conceptualized Bonifacio visited uh, several great cities. You know, they went to Paris, they went to Singapore, to New York, and, and other uh, you know, places where they feel the master planning was correct. And they tried to, to apply it here. As a result, property value has shot up. According to global property consultant Jones Lang LaSalle, prices for residential units in the district go up to around $4,300 per square meter. Prices in other notable districts reach a maximum of $2,600, making Bonifacio one of the most expensive areas in Manila. The business district is a drastic difference from the chaotic streets of the rest of Manila. It is also a far cry from what the area used to be more than a century ago, when it was an American military base camp. Underground tunnels were built for storage and movement. I think the Spaniards occupied it at one point, but not very strongly. But during the American period, this area was called Fort McKinley. And uh, it was named, of course, after President McKinley. It was one of the best forts the Americans had. There was an Olympic-sized swimming pool. There was a YMCA. There was a PX. Uh, was right above us used to be the division commander's residence. During the Second World War, the Japanese took over. They turned this into a, a fort that they called Sakura Hei. Uh, when the Americans came back, there was some fighting that took place here. And then after that, it was more or less left abandoned. It finally returned to the Philippines in 1949 and was renamed Fort Bonifacio after the revolutionary hero Andres Bonifacio. Today, these tunnels are the only remnants of the past, running under the business district of the future. The base's conversion and development authority is in charge of transforming idle army camps like these into a hotbed of economic activity. The land is privatized and funds are redistributed back to the Philippines Army. And we preserve our past as a lesson of our history, but at the same time, developments must be forward-looking. Security needs now are different than the past. Bonifacio Global City, though far from complete, the hope is that it will help Manila's economy move upwards while preserving tradition, with plans to convert the tunnel into a history museum. It's a business model that's trying to balance heritage with development. John Defterius, CNN. One square meter in association with Emma. Inspiring lifestyle today.